I made this. Hiya, I'm uh, Damien from LGV Vision, uh, window cleaners, and we're from Bedfordshire, and this is my van. Wow. We've got a 850 crash tested system from Gripper Max. Um, hopefully it's gonna be diesel hot very, very shortly. We've got twin electric, uh, sorry, uh, one electric uh, Cox reel at the moment, and then one manual Cox reel. These are quite expensive, aren't they? These. Why, um, why did you go for the Cox reels? Mainly for quality, because everything on the van, not necessarily is the most expensive, but I've always gone for quality throughout the whole um, setup. I can tell just by looking at it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, I might have spent a little bit too much in areas, but um, yeah, I went for them mainly because they're, you know, considered one of the best in the industry. Um, I wouldn't actually say that they are the best for window cleaning. I've always said, after I've seen the power-up reels, I've always said that they they probably are the best bet for window cleaning. But because my roller system is quite extreme and it goes through some nasty tight angles, um, the Cox reels, they just cope with it. You know, and both sides, whether you're manual or electric, um, they're a joy to wind in. Can you tell us how extreme your Show us how extreme your uh, cox wheel is and the hose. So basically, with the actual hose itself, so you can basically pull out, you know, almost in front of the van. Obviously, the tighter the angle, the harder it is. Um, when you start getting round to just normal angles, then it's fine. And obviously, it will just pull out at different angles. So what, what you got set up here for reeling it in? Um, so this was... Uh, a spring controller that was made. There wasn't actually one out for electric hose reels as such. So I gave uh, Gripper, uh, Gripper Max, um, what I wanted from the controller, and they obviously got in uh, contact with Spring, uh, Spring Europe. They basically make most of the controllers for the window cleaning industry, and then obviously they're rebranded. Um, so it was an obvious choice to go to them. I noticed uh, you got an isolator there. Yeah, um, it's obviously, you know, you're using something that's moving parts in, in the back of a van. I do wear high-vis vests. I mean, you shouldn't really be, you know, whizzing in a hose reel and then leaning in and then getting other things, but we wanted something so that, you know, we could literally kill the power. Um, the other reason for the isolator is, is that obviously it kills the power to the reel. So, you know, sometimes when, although you switch something off, there's always still a bit of power draw there. So it's just to try and stop that as well. But basically we would normally have a cloth and then when we're actually whizzing it in, to an extent it will actually spool itself on. Um, it still tries to end up in the middle. And that's basically the reel going in. Now, what I wanted from the controller is I'm still not 100% happy with running out of hose over um, pavements. Although we put out cones, I still think you're a little bit liable. The main selling point for me when I approached uh, Spring was I wanted it so that there was some form of snag protection. So you can even do it if you want, Lee. You can stand on the hose. Do to do that? So that's, that's, that's me with my finger down. So if you can imagine a remote, we've set the remote off, old lady comes across, 
So it's instantly the, the voltage or the, the spike of amps has gone up. It's trying to pull it and then it hits a limit. Mm. So it knows straight away, look, something's snagged so that this, they stop it. And it's as simple as that. Um, you know, it really is, it really is quick and easy. Um, um, so poles, I think everyone that knows me on forums and Facebook, I only use garden uh, extreme poles. Um, I've even sad enough to have converted a pole to actually use for fascia cleaning so you can put the chemicals up there, even that's an extreme pole. Um, and the reason why I use the extreme poles is because unfortunately I fell off a ladder in 2006 and actually left the industry. Um, the Gardener Extreme Pole basically allows me to just clean windows still. Um, um, well, look at the stuff all on the back door. You got your trigger sprays. Yeah, bottles. so we've got I've got four of those, but there's a couple over there that's been shown. So these are actually um, they weren't. This storage wasn't actually made for them. It was made for these ones. Um, but the problem is when I actually gave the dimensions to Stephen, I couldn't close the door. So instead of having to redo all this, I've gone for these ones and they close perfectly. The only thing I would say is with these hose lock ones, they are actually better. Um, and they were only about a pound more than what I was paying anyway. Um, so you got these from Stephen Scargill, right? Yeah. So Stephen Scargill done all the plastic work for me. If you want to see the actual top bit that he made. So this was the, this is the gripper tank system here. And then he basically made the top part. So anything that's sort of water sensitive, you know, they've got uh, all my cloths in there as it's summer, cans of Coke. <laughs> and because the cans of Coke sit on top of the tank, they are, they are actually really cold as well. Um, and then at the back, I've got, um, the Unger internal pad system. So it just keeps all that dry, just in case I get any um, condensation. But at the moment, we've been through one winter and there isn't any. And then the actual top bit, um, although it's a bit of a mess, it was all designed um, for what I wanted to put onto it. So there are pockets for brushes, the five litre containers that you get, like your TFR in a U Ubic, they've all been designed. Um, even it's very, very, be uh, very bespoke then. Um, it's so a it's four, exi exactly what you wanted. It's a Ford Transit Custom, and as I tell everyone, it's custom built to me. <laughs> um, and that's what I set out. Um, when I built the van, I didn't want any sort of regrets or anything that I wish I would have done and, and didn't. So I kind of looked at every single possible um, part that I wanted to do, mm. and then just found the people in the industry that could do it for me, and then they... They've done it for me. So you have a Gripper Max system from yep. Gripper Tank. Yep. Um, why did you choose that? It's mainly because of the crash testing uh, side of it. Um, I live on the A1, so I have to go down the A1 to work, and then I go down some dual carriageways. Obviously, I'm fully conscious of what sort of water I'm carrying, so although I can do sort of 60, 70 mile an hour by law, doesn't necessarily mean I would do that. What tank you got there? Wow, how many litres you? It's 850. Mm -hmm. 850 Gripper Max. Um, the reason why I went for it is because everything that you buy from uh, Gripper is over-engineered. Um, that's not in a negative way. That's not in a bad way. It's everything's over-engineered. And the framework on the actual tank system, what sold it to me is the actual tank bolts to the frame mm, and as far yeah. as I'm aware there's not many companies that do that you've got companies that have a nice frame but the the actual tank still moves actually inside the inside the framework mm. so with the actual um, gripper system it, the, the framework bolts down to the floor uh, with spreader plates and then the actual tank is then yeah. bolted to that framework mm. and that was the you know, main reason 